All right, it is starting to look a lot like Christmas, feel a lot like Christmas, too. Yeah, that's right, Shane. It's uh, checking out the Merry and Bright event coming up this Thursday. Shane, what's going on? Guys, it's going to be a huge event here right outside of Union Station. Like you said, it is this Thursday evening. We're talking with a couple of important folks here this morning that are making this all happen. First, Drew, we'll start with you. He's one of the directors with the train museum that is just right over my shoulder. Drew, you guys are going to be responsible for a big piece of this event. I mean, that bad boy up there going to be lit up, right? That's correct. So tell me a little bit, too, about the train museum. For anybody that's never been there before, that's just one piece of it up there. I mean, this thing, if you get up there on the top level, there's a lot of cool stuff to be seen. Yeah, there's more than that locomotive. There's a lot of equipment you can come in, and uh, we're a very interactive museum. Our, our artifacts are tough, so you can get in there and explore cabooses, uh, <laughs> different, uh, coach cars, uh, and other locomotives. Absolutely, and if they want to stop by, you guys, you say, are not going to be open during the event to come check things out, but they can stop by and see other times as well. That's right. We are open Saturdays, 9 to 4. Very cool. All right, we're going to stop over here with Bob again. Bob, we're going to chat with you one last time. Paint the picture for me, man, okay. of what this is going to look like on Thursday evening, because the train's going to be lit up like we talked about, but pretty much everything else as well. That's right. So we're going to have Santa Claus. He's coming. Special event here. Yeah. He'll be here for uh, you to come down and take pictures with. We'll have a reindeer. We're going to have some handbell ringers. We're going to have uh, Northwest. Their choir is going to be walking around and singing Christmas carols. It's going to be so much fun. And you said there's going to be hot chocolate people can have. I mean, it's a perfect kickoff for the holiday season, but it's also for a great cause as well. Correct. Uh, we are asking everyone to come down and give a brand new unwrapped uh, toy for the Wichita Children's Zone. Absolutely. And you can also visit Eddie's Everything locations as well. Bring a gift card and also uh, sweatsuits of all different sizes as well. You can help out that way too. If someone wants to stop by and be a part of this, it's a completely free event, but when do they need to be here? Okay, so it starts at 5.30. Uh -huh. uh, we wrap up at 7.30. We're hoping uh, to light the building between 6 and 6.30. Well, you can find more information as well on the KWCH 12 mobile app. Look for the Where's Shane article. But like Bob said, 5.30 to 7.30, there's going to be bell ringers. Santa's going to be here. There's going to be reindeer, too. So much fun to be had. And hopefully this is an annual event that keeps on going. But this is the inaugural one, so a super special one. But if you want more information, like I said, check out that Where's Shane article. But for right now, guys, we'll send it back to you in the studio.